What up, y'all? This is your boy, Sherry Speaks, man. Before I get into the start, make sure you guys find the like button, comment, subscribe button. Find the like and subscribe button for my homeboys, and middle boy gaming, and he's going to the game to do live stream. Might even catch a button and get some ass alongside them, man. And tonight's episode of Snowfall, man. Also, be sure to follow their official Twitch accounts. I'll put the links to their official Twitch accounts in the description box below. You guys already know my username. It's Sherry Speaks 007. In tonight's episode of Snowfall, season 3, episode 7, Pocket Full of Lots. Uh, this episode really definitely lived up to it. Uh, Mel goes missing, obviously. The first opening credits, you see her, you know, receiving, you know, <clears throat> some fellatio from uh, Reese, the guy that we seen in the last episode with. Um, she's clearly hooked on the rock. Uh, and one of the most defining moments of, of the episode to me, I think it ties in with um, the little argument that Saint and Leon had because. Saint, you know, made it seem as if, well, you know, Mel was better off than Wanda because, you know, even though they're both now on, are now on the rock, you know, you know, in, you know, Mel is doing better off than Wanda, you know, Wanda's a full-fledged, you know, crackhead, you know, whereas Mel really isn't, you know, we, of course, Leon have a love for Wanda, you know, to the offense of that, so they had a bit of a um, quarrel with that, but they, they patched it up, but I can tell, you know, when Franklin finds Mel in a crack bin, you know, and having to literally force her into the car, it really breaks him because now he has to come comes to the comes to the grips and comes to accept the fact that you know the woman that he fell in love with is no longer there. You know, now I do have faith that Mel will be going to rehab and make get herself together. But you know, just about from the scenes of uh, next week's episode and basically what what Lulu told Franklin, you gotta accept the fact that she's gone, baby. You know, she's, she's, she's no she's not there anymore. You know, and then tons of other stuff happening. You know, a lot of gunshots. You know, we hear Reggie going after Franklin. You know, see. Franklin running for his life and he stops. I want to see if he sees like a dead body of someone he really cares about. You know, and um, in this episode, for the most part, man, we just saw um, Teddy and Julia finally realizing, hey, we can get out of this. You know, and uh, Julia, we're going to preview to the next week's episode, for the most part, Hedgehogs, um, she, you know, basically made a deal with, you know, the higher ups, so and then that way Teddy wouldn't get hurt, you know, for the most part. And you know, the whole trip with Mel, you know, she smoking, it took smoking rock with Wanda, with Wanda just for them to bond. Only come to find out Wanda was just all for herself. She's all about the rock, you know. She she literally hit Mel in the face at her job with the skate while they were high as fuck skating, smoking on rock, you know, in order, order to just, um, Order just to get, you know, the Rock 4, you know, I'm sorry, that's thunder and lightning, I, I thought it was like some gunshots or whatever, but as I was saying, you know, she literally, you know, Wanda literally stole her mother's necklace, you know, and the same guys that Franklin and Leon, you know, pressed up to get information on Mel, you know, so they didn't see her, but, you know, it took a little persuasion, you know, when they found out where she was, and now the fucked up part about all this is the fact that Franklin, again, has to come to the grips of the fact that, you know, his the woman, the girl he fell in love with is no longer that pure hearted girl, you know. And I, I always used to say, you know, whenever he came to Franklin and Mel, whenever they were in the scene together, you know, Mel was the last part of Franklin that was human, quote unquote. You know, he was the last part that was a reflection of who he was before he started selling dope and things like that. And so, you know, that Mel's corrupted, you know, Mel, Franklin is now set in stone, you know, he's, you know, not a blank canvas anymore. You know, and also, one of the funniest things, in my opinion, was when Reggie sees, reunites with Mel, he says, okay, we got to talk about this right now. She's like, I don't want to talk about it. I got a headache. I just don't want to talk about it. He's like, the fuck? The fuck? You know, then also, also you know, Reggie passed out, you know, you know, after taking a swig of some, uh, I guess, some uh, Crown Royal, you know, looking for Meg, you know, just thinking that, you know, just before Meg disappeared. And, you know, he has a dream that her, that she's having sex with Franklin in her bed. And Franklin's just twiddling his gun around on his finger. I thought that was kind of funny. But, you know, that's what I got for you guys tonight. I apologize for the way you do. That's some love.